Hi, my name's Sue Ellum and I'm a professional tarot reader and have been for 25 years and I'm using the mythic tarot which are based on Greek mythology. And I'm Carrie Bellino, I am an intuitive Reiki master teacher and spiritual life coach and I have some questions. Realize my title is much shorter than yours, tarot oh, reader. Yes. <laughs> Easy well. to say. Um, I feel like it's impossible to focus. Why is this and what can I do? So let me tap in a second. Focus. Well, this is not a news flash. The energies are chaotic right now. We can get pulled in a zillion different directions, especially if you spend any time in the news or on social media. You can easily get pulled energetically and emotionally from this to this to this to this to this in a matter of seconds. And that will um, create an imbalanced, unstable um, center. It will create your mind uh, to be uncentered that's not a word, uncentered, um, and imbalanced, and it will not allow us to concentrate on the present. It also, um, those, those chaotic messages also force us to jump ahead into fear, fear of the unknown, fear of what if, fear of something coming true. Um, it can also pull us backwards. I can't believe that happened if that hadn't happened this wouldn't be happening, that kind of thing. And when we get out of the present moment, it's very hard to focus. So the, the trick to staying focused is staying in the present moment. What do I need to worry about? Think about, put my energy into right this minute, right the next hour, um, today. What do I need to, um, where do I need to put my energy today? And that will help us stay focused and out of the what ifs and out of the what could have, should have happened, uh, the, the past. And it's also important to make sure that you're focusing on things that you actually want to do. Focus on things that you love and not put your energy into time consuming, energy zapping people or situations or experiences. And sometimes we have to do those things. Sometimes there are chores or tasks or um, people at work that we have to deal with that um, do zap us. So it's very important that you recognize that, that you tell yourself, yes, I know this is going to zap me. I know that this is a thing I don't love to do, but when I'm finished, I'm going to make sure I do something I love to do, or I call someone I love to be with, or I recharge somehow so that you aren't just expending your energy, your emotional energy and not refueling because that will also help us to stay focused when we refuel. This is not a time to put yourself last. You must put yourself first. And I'll, I've, I'm sure I've said it before, but I will say it again. Selfishness is when you put others first, no, put yourself first at the other's expense meaning I'm hungry, I'm going to eat, and I'm going to take away all of your food in order for me to eat. That's being selfish, and none of you are doing that. Being, putting yourself first just means I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. You all can eat too. I'm not going to take your food away. You are free to eat as well, but I'm going to eat now because I'm hungry. That's putting yourself first. And that's what everyone needs to be doing right now, worried about what brings them happiness, worry about their present moment, and you will attract things and situations that support that emotional energy. And that's where we want to be headed right now. That will help us focus. Okay. Good advice. Let me do that focus. I think that came up for me in the cards yesterday. Hmm. 
Right, we, we have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands, for me, is a very much marketing man. So it's about, about not having difficulty focusing and not knowing what to do about it. Well, that means you need to choose your side. You need to choose what, to decide to get off the fence and make a commitment to one thing or another. And there's no such thing as mistakes. If you make a commitment to one thing and you suddenly realize, whoops, I shouldn't have done that. It was uh, the wrong thing. Um, maybe I did it in haste or I didn't know, have all the information. Then all you have to do is just say, sorry, you know, I need to commit to something different. This isn't working for me. But it's a learning. At least now you've learned what you don't want to be committed to. But it's, it's, telling people about your ideas and getting out there and and then when you're interested in something it's so much easier to focus i know if i'm doing something i love you know eight ten hours can can fly by and i suddenly don't realize where the time's gone and if i do something i'm really not enjoying i tell you something's like pulling teeth you know it's so Focus, um, just don't think your whole life depends on this decision. If you make a wrong decision, or as I said, no such thing as wrong decisions, but if you make a decision which doesn't work for you, at least now you know, and then you can make another decision. But you don't, you're not tied into it for life. Um, so commit, decide what you want to do. And then money and resources will start coming your way, the Ace of Pentacles. And this, this is about, you will know um, when you are focusing on the right thing because you will get support. You know, some money will come your way to enable you to do it or the resources or the people. Things will turn up to support you in your, in your new venture, whatever, whatever it may be. Um, so then that will give you the go ahead and say, okay, I'm going in the right direction. And here we have the 10 of cups, which is ongoing contentment and permanence in the realm of the heart. This can be love relationships. Um, but it can, but it's also bonds that you've, you've created with people, family members, friends, uh, over the years, bonds that will last a lifetime and all because you jumped off the fence where you're sitting on the fence, don't know what to focus on, and you decided, I'm going to take a leap of faith, try this. And if you, you tried the right thing, or the thing that is right for you, then you will get the money resources, you'll get the people that will support you and, and, and help you through it. You will know. And if you jump off the fence into the area that it doesn't really work for you, you also know because you will have a life, you will have a path full of obstacles. You, as soon as obstacles come, I said, I, and I've said before in a previous video way back when, uh, that if I get loads and loads of obstacles coming my direction, I don't think it's a thing of I need to fight and I need to, I need to jump over these obstacles. For me, it's I'm going in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. That's true. So, but the important thing is I've made a choice. I've, I've made a commitment to try something. Loads of obstacles going in the direct, wrong direction. All I have to do is turn right or turn left or go back. And, and I can choose another direction. It's no big deal. But you pick the right direction, things will flow in, in your way. And you've got this celebration of a commitment it's the I think it's a yeah, nine of cups it's a celebration of a commitment it's having this kind of i put 100 percent into something i made a commitment i decided i was going to um really focus on this and give it my undividing attention so therefore um if it's a course of study i'm not going to suddenly pop onto Facebook. I'm not going to pop onto LinkedIn to see if, you know, I'm not going to pop into Instagram to see how many people have 
liked the picture of my dinner or the, my last vacation, I'm not going, I'm going to turn my phone off. I'm going to shut the door, pretend I'm not in if anybody rings a bell, that kind of thing. That is how you, you, you actually deal with focus, is taking away all the distractions. Even if it means you have to lock yourself in a room with nothing except a chair and a table. You know, if that's what you have to do, that is what you have to do. But with these days of um, distractions, you know, how many people will kind of check their email? And I'm guilty myself if I'm, if I'm not focused on anything particular. It's so, so easy just to spend time just flipping between emails and Facebook and, you know, and all, all these things. Time just flies by and you've really got very little done at that time. So if there's something you need to focus on, then cut off switch off social media and say I'm not going to look at anything for one two three hours or whatever I'm just going to keep focused on it but it is it is a thing of discipline and you you know it, we can all focus but do we want to and if it's something we really enjoy doing yes we can if it's not something we enjoy doing Find something else to focus on. Mm -hmm. Don't don't beat yourself up because you can't get the the excitement going, and it, it's just obstacle telling you you're going in the wrong direction. So don't beat yourself up. Don't think of it as a failing. It's just you've just jumped onto the wrong side of the fence. So clamber over to the other side, folk, and find something you really want to do, and then focusing won't be a problem. It'll be easy, and you will be able to celebrate your achievements. Super, lots of tag words there for the, uh, for the post. Thank you very much. <laughs> and as always, like, share, and subscribe. And I think I've talked myself out and that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> as Carrie can tell you, it doesn't happen very often. But uh, anyway, so thanks very much for joining us and um, see you soon. We'll see you tomorrow.